Okay guys, uh, before I start the video of the uh, Ruger, uh, I just wanted to do a couple of things here. First, um, I told this guy I'd give him a shout out and I uh, kind of forgot about it for a few times. Uh, but the guy I'm talking about, most all of you know him, his name is Looking For Me Marbles. Uh, he's been a subscriber of mine for a very long time and um, me and him used to talk and messages about guns before he even ever started a channel. So go check out Looking For Me Marbles, subscribe to his channel, and uh, you'll find that you like it, that you'll like his channel. He's a good guy. He's got a Glock 27, and he's got a lot of other guns as well, and uh, he's a good guy. He lives in PA, so check him out. Second thing, I never did show this yet. Um, this, was a, this was a birthday present from my cousin Nick and Adam, uh, their brothers. Uh, that they gave to me last month and I slipped my mind to show this on film here but they got me this hat and it says humans for targets on the front there it's really cool and then on the back <laughs> there is of course a gun looks similar to like a Glock or a SIG so me trying to get this bill the way I want it to be. Okay. So, thank you to Nick and Adam for the hat. It's awesome. Okay, guys, here we go. Ruger Mark II 22 long rifle. Okay, guys, here it is. Ruger Mark II 22 LR long rifle. The gun is of course clear. Um, these are one of the, I think these are one of the funnest handguns you can buy. Um, the, the Mark II is no longer made. Uh, right now it's the Mark III and there is some differences between the Mark II and Mark III. Um, one of the differences, uh, see how the mag release on this is on the heel. That's how you pull your mag out. Well, on the Mark III, it's up here like a standard handgun. Um, the Mark III also has a uh, magazine safety where the gun can't be fired with the magazine out. Um, the Mark III has an integral gun, gun lock on it. None of, the, none of that stuff I really need. Um, I'm fine with the... I shoot left, so I'm fine with the heel magazine release. And uh, a lot of the guys are looking for these things now. Um, I got this a while back, and I paid $130 for this. And it shoots great. The sights on this aren't adjustable, but that's all right. They're just the standard sights, and uh, got a heck of a deal on this one. You know, I just couldn't pass it up. Um, safety's right here. This is your bolt release lever. And uh, it had a little mark right here. Like a little... I, I don't... It wasn't really... I don't think it was rust. But there was like a, a dark spot right here. So I took this bolt out and I hit it with some uh, Flitz polish. Really didn't hit it real hard. Just went over it a couple of times, and that's how it, that's how the bolt turned out. Plus, it's got a much smoother, slicker feel. So, I think it will uh, it will uh, you know work a little smoother. You know, it's not too bad. But yeah, this is the famous 22 long rifle handgun, and they are very fun, especially if you have like a a son or a daughter and you want to get them started and you know I guess in my opinion if you have one of these this would be the way to start training him or her you take them out when they're young and uh, you know of course teach them firearm safety before before you go out and I want to remind everyone something too always because so many people I see so many people at the gun store and just friends of mine and all kinds of people never put your finger in that trigger guard see where my fingers at 
never put your finger in that trigger guard until you think you are until you are ready or you think you're going to have to fire the gun that finger never t goes inside that trigger guard and you know what if there's not a finger in that trigger guard even if this gun has not been safety cleared it's still not going to go off keep that finger outside of that trigger guard just like this I see you will never believe the volume of people I see this is how they pick up a gun I see it at gun stores my relatives of mine some of my relatives and I you know try to teach everybody friends of mine this is how people pick up a gun they go like this oh yeah this is really nice you know they're looking at it and they're like yeah you know um, <laughs> how much was this and they're swinging it around just like this and then they put it down with their finger on the trigger and they pick it up like this get in the habit finger doesn't go in that trigger guard until you're gonna fire the gun there's no reason for it to be in there okay guys just wanna I just wanted to uh, get that out there so uh, maybe that might help some of my new subscribers and stuff but um yeah back to the gun uh, I know that there's a lot of 22 uh, handguns out there now like the Wather and that but you know what this thing right here you can get the cheapest uh, lowest grade 22 ammo and the ones that I've had of these Rugers I've had a, I've had two or three of them they will fire and eat everything that's thrown into them and the Wathers and some of those I've had guys tell me that they can't shoot anything but mini mags in them so it's one reason I really like this gun another reason is the grip angle is really nice it's really comfortable it fits in the hand good it just feels really good to hold this gun it's so slim and um, it is of course a 10 round mag and here is how you load the mag you'd have your rounds to put in and you start to pull this little button down and that brings the floor plate down see it in there or the follower I'm sorry brings that down as you load your rounds you just drop them in drop your rounds in up here and then kind of pull this as you go along makes it real easy to load with this little button right here as you slide it down like that they even have loaders that connect onto this and come out so you can even do it more comfortably because you can feel this on your thumb a little bit but it's not hard but this magazine looks very well worn and it feeds everything great I've, I've had this gun out twice now and I haven't had it you know a real long time and this magazine just fed everything. I've had no problems with this gun at all. No misfeeds, no jams, nothing. You can just go out and fire these things all day. And the first time I fired it, it was really dirty. I hadn't even cleaned it when I got it. And it was really dirty. And I took it out and it was just eating everything. Um, I'll go ahead now and I'll strip it down for you guys. Okay, see this back here? There's a little oval there. I'm gonna. These are like a plastic. Uh, these little screwdrivers that they're like a. I don't know what they are, but they're not like a. They're not like a metal that can harm the finish of a gun. But anyway, I'm trying to do this in front of the viewfinder there. You want to pull this little lever out there. Now this all in here is connected to this pin up here. This is what you're pulling out. There's a whole thing it's gonna come out with this piece and that's connected to it that little pin right there pull this down and bring it out like that okay now when you pull this down this is gonna drop your pin from out top sometimes this can be a little tricky just work with it and there it is there's your pin okay then uh, then what you have to do is uh, you have to take like a, a mallet or something that's not like steel like a mallet with rubber or something wood and tap the upper part of this frame I'm just gonna use my uh, my fist here there we go bump it a few times and uh, it'll probably give you a little bit of a bruise but <laughs> you'll live Okay, there we go. There's the bolt. There's the piece I polished on. 
I was telling you about. These are real simple and easy to clean. Um, here's your upper assembly here. This is pretty much all one piece. One thing I really want to do to this gun is I want to uh, I want to put some fluorescent paint on the tip of this uh, sight. Just the flat part there that you see facing me, put a little bit of fluorescent paint on there. And uh, I like to do that with these. It really helps when you're fine-tuning this thing in and shooting at far distances. Yeah, there it is. Show you the view from back here. It probably needs cleaned again because I have I have fired this gun again um, after it was cleaned. Let's see if I can get you a close one up there. It's not real bad, but I'm gonna clean it after the video. Sorry guys, I'm real shaky. Um, I I went to the gym today and I lifted uh, chest and triceps for about. Uh, probably for about a solid hour and there was there was only a couple of guys in there and I lifted chest and triceps for an hour so everything I pick up right now and hold a certain way I feel it in my shoulders and chest but there it is I recommend these guns man to, you know they're just so cheap to go shoot have fun with okay here put your bolt back in what's going on here okay there we go put your bolt back in like that and then make sure this is down this little piece here because it, it can be forward just push it back down and then you want to uh, set the top back on okay you'll kind of see how it how it sits down in there see this little see this little block right there with that little tab that locks in. I don't know if you can, how good you can see it, but that locks into that right into that slot right there. So, place your upper receiver. Get it on there and you're going to have to push it. You're going to have to push this thing back a little bit. Um I'm going to have to get off camera for a minute, guys. I think that's got it. I use my hand again, like I said. I don't. I don't always recommend using your hands because uh, it, it does kind of hurt. But use something wood or a mallet with a rubber coating on it. You know, you'll find something. Uh, now the trick is, is if you have everything lined up right, the pin will go through that hole. Pull your trigger when you lay it down. There's a. I don't even know if you can see it in there. There's a wee little pin here that you want right there. You want okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I had a little bit of trouble uh, getting the pin in there lined up with this when I put it back together when I was doing it, looking through the viewfinder. So it ended up that I I did it closer to my eyes where I could see it instead of out here in front of me. And when I do this out here, I'm looking at the gun through through the camera viewfinder. I'm not actually looking at the gun, so I do apologize for that. And if anybody needs any help with putting one of these in I will do my best to do a detailed video just on the installation of this but as far as uh, putting this back together it's easiest if you just uh, <laughs> uh, do it close to your body and uh, you know looking straight down at the gun it's much easier way to get it back together but there it is and it's not that hard um, you know once you do it once or twice but these guns are so worth it I love them recommend this to anybody and if you have any younger ones and you want to start getting them trained on guns, take them out with one of these. Teach them how to hold it properly. Um, you know, teach them safe gun handling. And you guys go out and have a day of fun, and it won't cost you very much money. All right, there it is, guys. 130 bucks. that's what I got into this. This is Humans for Targets. And I'm out.